CircuitPython has released a stable version for the Raspberry Pi Pico, which is version 6.2.0. The latest firmware has a built-in library for audio MP3. So, for this tutorial, I would like to play MP3 files using Maker Pi Pico. Okay, let's try. Before that, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell to get the latest update from us. I'm using a Raspberry Pi Pico, Maker Pi Pico Base, and USB 6 watt speakers with audio jack. Connect the speaker to the audio connector and USB speaker to the power supply. Then, connect the Raspberry Pi Pico to the laptop using a USB micro B cable. Before we write the code, we need to prepare the MP3 file. CircuitPython supports mono or stereo MP3 files from 32 kilobit per second to 128 kilobit per second with sample rates from 16 kilohertz to 44.1 kilohertz. Here I have my own MP3 file, slamat.mp3 and imbus.mp3. Copy and paste the MP3 file into the CircuitPy drive. You can use Mo Editor or Atom software to edit CircuitPython code. Open the code.py and use the code example I shared in the Cytron tutorial page. Replace this part with your MP3 file name. And the duration of the MP3 file in second. To run the program, just save the file. When the GP20 button is pressed, it will play MP3 files on the GP18. Selamat datang ke Cytron Technologies. Selamat datang ke Cytron Technologies. Okay, apparently it works fine. Now I want to try adding a PIR sensor to the GP3. Then edit the code so that when the movement is detected, it will play the inbus.mp3 file. So without additional modules, we can play mp3 files directly from Maker Pi Pico using CircuitPython. That's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum. Sila imbas suhu di kepala. Jika tiada kepala, imbas suhu di tangan.